So, you have reached the Office of Chief Medical Examiner for the City of New York. Para Español, oprime el número uno. OCME has Family Services Centers in all five boroughs. For addresses and other information, please visit our website at www.nyc.gov slash OCME. Our Family Services Centers are open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you are a member of law enforcement or medical facility calling to report a death, please press 2. If you are a family member, please press 3. If you are a funeral director, please press 4. For media inquiries and public education requests, please press 5. For forensic biology, please press 6. Wait while I transfer your call. Yes, hi. Uh, my name is Marcus. I'm calling, I mean, uh, you're probably getting a lot of calls on this right now, but for Jeffrey Epstein's autopsy, is there any possibility that the press can see it? I know that a copy has been released. How does that work? Uh, well, we don't release it. Uh, that's not to say that other people who are in the know would release it, just giving you off the record not to quote us the process. Um, we communicate directly with the decedent next of kin, which sometimes is family, sometimes are legal representatives, whoever the court has decided is authorized to make decisions for the decedent. And um, we, you know, we share our findings with them. We share with the public at large upon request, you know, what the cause and manner of death is, but we don't share um, any of the medical documents as part of our protocol. So, of course, those who would receive those documents are at their liberty to share whatever they'd like. It's their property. Right. So that's is that exclusive to New York? Because I know other states. Uh, if you are that is that is yeah. I mean, in other look, states you not can. All states have yes, true. That is that is our rule. That is the chief's rule here in New York City. Right. So it's uh, next of kin only, and whoever, I, I guess I, I, I'm paraphrasing, but whoever you selectively decide who can see it. How listen? Who who is so so the attorneys have gotten this thing? How do how does the public? How is the public going to be made aware? of this, uh, this uh, report. I, I mean, I've seen many... Well, we may, I mean, our, our job is to determine what killed someone and release that information for the public's knowledge. So our role here is complete. Whether other people involved in this want to share documents that we provided them as part of our job is, is their, that's their decision, but that's not something we would do. Yeah, but isn't isn't the uh, the object of an uh, the objective of an autopsy is for f to the f a finding of facts, and then there's right. a and then we at release the end the finding. No, you don't release the findings. You release the opinion at the end, right? Is that right. how I'm hearing? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not a finding of facts. We want to know the fi finding of facts is all the stuff that comes before the opinion, right? I mean, that, that's just how I see it. It's a finding of facts is. Uh, the, here, here's here's the body, and 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 I've read of you know a bunch of autopsies. I know what they look like. Uh, and you read, and you see facts. You see you know issues with the yeah, body. I know. I know you. I, I, I know you know. Do other places? Yeah, I'm familiar. I, I know you know because you work there. But but the fact is, those are findings of facts. And so you're telling me that well, we can't as as a as a member of the press, as a concerned citizen, there's no way that we can. We will ever see the actual autopsy unless somebody. I'm not, I don't know what you will see. I'm telling you what you will receive from this office. Right. So I have the I have your application autopsy report request form. That's worthless. Even okay. if a, even if that I go to the legal department, you're, you're certainly at your liberty to fill that out. What if I walked in because I'm in New York, twenty one uh, four twenty one East Twenty Sixth Street? What'll happen if I walk in and try to obtain a copy? Was say fifteen dollars? Not going to happen. This is the city. This is the public, so we don't charge for oh. documents. Oh, that's They're good. free. You know, public documents are either provided or not provided by the entity that has but, them. But because I'm because I'm I'm n not next of kin, I'm not gonna. Am I gonna? My my question is: Am I wasting my time if I come down there? Am I gonna have? I, I don't think you're gonna walk away with the, the things that you you desire. So no. I'm just gonna get to see the nice fancy building, and I'm gonna be on my way. That would be my guess, yes. 
Hey, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. No problem. Bye. <laughs> wow, I got some. That was the. Um, that was pretty interesting, right? The autopsy lady. Right? So try to get a, try to get Jeffrey Epstein's autopsy. You heard. So New York is a, New York is a uh, is a, a next of kin only. Uh, state. Now I knew that before I was going to call, but I was I was I was tempted to go down there and try to get the autopsy. So you heard me make the the point, the finding of facts. Oh man, I put that shit. I put it to that lady, man. I put it to her, right? I fucking put it to her, All right? Because the finding of facts, she's saying that they, oh, our job's done. We released the opinion. Oh well, fucking every doctor has an opinion. Every doctor has an opinion, but but the finding of facts, where were the choke marks? How did the neck break? What was the position, you know, where, where, was the, where did the blood settle? How long was he laying on this way? How long was he laying that way, right? Were any other bruise marks, any, any poke holes, any, any narcotics in the system? Right? There's a, a lot of things you can learn from an autopsy, but you see, people, we're not privy to it. See, the media, I even identify myself as a media, and, and still no good, you know, you can't do it. Next of kin, right? so I guess we have to... We have to find a um, an attorney that has power. I don't know if an attorney will eventually leak out the um, this information, but um, because we want to know, right? We want to know if he if he uh, sh- was strangled by someone else or did he hang himself, right? These are the facts that we want to know. We want to we want to look and see if it was the actual body. Does Jeffrey Epstein have any tattoos? We know he has an egg shaped penis. Maybe we could. Maybe there was some evidence of that. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they wrote it down. All right, what else? What else? The medical uh, history. Maybe did he ever break a bone? What about his? What about his teeth? What about his? Uh, any other operations? Right. We could find out if it's to to um, eliminate the people that think, oh, that's not his body. Right? So a lot could be revealed in in Jeffrey Epstein's autopsy. And as you just heard from the chief medical examiner in New York City, it ain't gonna happen. So, I don't know. We'll keep fishing, though. We'll keep fishing. Marcus Conte, you're reporting.